great, now I know what it takes. I'm putting a new face on the old one, ready for anything. Playing with fate, not a moment too late. Showing the whole world nothing can get me down. Ooh, ooh. Give me a break, yeah, yeah. Give me a break, cause I show me why. Give me a break, yeah, yeah. I finally know where I belong. Give me a break, yeah, yeah. Give me a break, cause I show me why. Give me a break, yeah, yeah. I finally know. I smell lemons. In fact, I smell so many lemons, I'm about to pluck them in strange places. It's lemon air freshener. Oh, that's good. I'm sure our guests will love our apartment, especially fruit flies. Could you help me with me? Oh, sure. Joey, I told you the party starts in 15 minutes. You better get that room clean. Already, I don't know what's gotten into that boy lately. Oh, oh let me show you something. I was doing the laundry, uh -huh. and I found this note in Joey's pants pocket. It's a poem. I think he's in love. Oh. What's it say? <laughs> Roses are red. Cats go purr. I wish she knew that I loved her. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Ain't it? <laughs> wish I could find a guy like that. Hey, no problem. I'll fix you up with Joey's class president. <laughs> Ain't nothing too good for you, baby. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> And you know it, somebody's always early for a party. Hey, now. Maggie! Don't worry, BJ is not with me. Oh, good. Now, I gotta I talk know, to you. I know, I know, I know. I mean, you're nervous. I would be nervous, too, if BJ were my husband. And I would throw in him a surprise birthday party. Yeah, yeah. no, I... I know, I know, but you don't have to thank me. I'm a saint. I can't help it. I can't help it. But listen, 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 listen. What? I invited... Your boss and his wife, and we're gonna have a band, we're gonna have some music. Mm. The party is off. What'd you say? The party is off. The party is not off, Maggie. <laughs> I got punch, I got dip, I got funny cocktail napkins, and if you cancel this party, I'm gonna be stuck with 400 little teeny weenies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nell, but BJ and I had a fight. What did he do now? Are you ready for this one? What? He says we are moving back to Georgia where he grew up. The man drives a cab now. All of a sudden, he wants to move back to Georgia and open a bed and breakfast. The guy hates breakfast. What did, what did you say? I said no, 150 times. Then I threw the crock pot at him. <laughs> well, there goes the time on the potato fives. 250 of them, Maggie. Well, Listen, you get back upstairs and you tell that BJ to get down here. Otherwise, in 15 minutes, I am going to be standing here talking to a room full of BJ's cab driving friends and the only three words I have ever said to a cab driver are blooming down. <laughs> yeah, well, now, I'll tell you right now, the man is not in the mood for a party. Maggie, don't you know that of all the creatures on this earth, the easiest to fool are old dogs and men? <laughs> yeah. Honey, listen, with just a little female effort, Mm -hmm. You'll have B.J. licking the back of your hand and sleeping at the foot of your bed. You really think so? I know so, trust mm -hmm. You should write a book, Nell. Well, I I'm thinking about it. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. Now, you know, if he does lick my hand, we're going to be a little late, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Matthew, let me fix your shirt. Oh, Joey, you know, when I was doing the laundry, <laughs> I found this note in your pants pocket. And no, this is personal. You don't read Addie's mail. It, it was real cute, honey. <laughs> so who's your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, come on, Joey. There's nothing wrong with having a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. It's just a stupid old phone. Joey has a girlfriend. Joey has a girlfriend. <laughs> Matthew, if you don't be quiet, I'm going to hit you so hard, you'll throw up. <laughs> Ooh. Very effective threat. I got to remember that one, girl. Uh, Matthew, go in the kitchen and apologize to your brother. Joey? Sorry to hear about your girlfriend. Don't worry about it, buddy. Here, sit down. Sorry I yelled at you. That's okay, Joey. You know, Matt, you're lucky you're a kid. Why, 
you gotta worry about is skateboarding, finding bugs, and watching cartoons. I miss that life. <laughs> Take it from me, Matthew. Enjoy being a kid while you can. Because when you get older like me, girls really start messing up your life. <laughs> you know, I think they do it on purpose. You understand what I'm trying to say, Matt? No. Wanna split a banana? <laughs> I appreciate everything. Isn't it the most terrific birthday party I have ever had? Aww. You're the best. <laughs> well, thanks, honey. I'm gonna get a beer. You want one? Sure, sweetheart. You want one? No, thanks. Nell? Yeah. BJ just kissed me on the nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna be leaving a little early, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, listen, did you get him to change his mind about the bed and breakfast? Well, no. Oh, I couldn't. Maggie, I was... Maggie, 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 you know. I guess if you want something done right, you just have to do it yourself. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to him. You will? Yeah, where is he? He's it? in the kitchen. Okay. Yes. Sure. Thing. Okay. I know I'm only a kid, but I have a right to privacy just as much as you guys. I just wish people would leave me alone. Uh, what just happened here? <clears throat> All I said was that I heard he had a girlfriend. Marty, look. I know Joey is just a little boy, but you really have no right to invade his privacy, all right? Did you find out who she was? <laughs> Boy, Nail, beer in a bottle. What a classy lady. I sure do appreciate this birthday party. Well, any husband of Maggie's is a husband of Maggie's. <laughs> but I'm glad you could come. You know, we really thought you weren't going to show up. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Sometimes I get a little crazy. You know, it ain't easy being married to a woman like Maggie. Beautiful, sexy, sensuous, the kind of woman that drives men wild with lust. It's hard to believe there's two of us in the same building. Now, I hate it when men come on to her. Lately, I get the feeling her boss is trying to make a move on her. Dr. Hilliard? The dentist? Yeah, Rudy. I mean, he's with her all day long, and you know how good she looks in that dental hygienist costume. I guess I'm just a jealous guy. And rightfully so. I mean, not only is Maggie beautiful, but she's sensitive, she's delicate, she's fragile. You know, just like a flower that would just die if you were to transplant it. Really? Oh, yeah. I was thinking about moving back to Georgia. No, 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 no. You would bury her in two days. Oh, come on, BJ. You know Maggie loves you. She would do anything for you. Well, her roots are here. I mean, you don't want to prune a flower just when you should be fertilizing it, do you? Never thought of it like that. Fertilize. <laughs> I guess it is too big a move. Mm. Everybody, could I please have your attention, please? As you know, this is BJ's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. So if we could just get the birthday boy to sit right here. Oh. We got your here for this a lovely bride. Come sit down, oh, girl. BJ, in honor of your birthday, I am going to sing your favorite song. Now, people, this song is going to make him sad because it's about a place that he loves very much. But B.J. loves his wife so much that he's not going back to...
beautiful, Neil. That was absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'll just, uh... What? I'm going to tell you something. What? I'm staying right here in New York. I'm going to watch my little flower bloom. I see. Oh, look who's here, my boss. What's Maggie's boss doing here? Shh. He touched her. He touched her. Please, <laughs> Stallion, please. Hello, Doctor. How's your wife? Maggie, thanks for you. I made a very important decision tonight. I'm leaving Virginia. We're getting a divorce. That does it. That does it. If he's leaving Virginia, we're leaving for Georgia. <laughs> I am not moving to Georgia. Oh, yeah? What you gonna do? Stay here and move in with your lover, Rudy the Denny? No, I'm moving in with Nell and Addie. <laughs> My party. <laughs> <laughs> Nell? Hmm. Where's Maggie? Oh, she's in the bathroom flossing. She said when she gets upset, she flosses. <laughs> oh, Addie. I done lost it. I hate to admit it. But I done lost it. Here, have a teeny weeny. <laughs> Thanks. Lost what? My purpose in life. I tell you, I just can't go on. You won't believe this, but I gave Maggie step-by-step -step instructions. Now, really, you won't believe it. You know what? Everything turned out awful. Can you believe that? I tell you, I just can't go on. If I can't control other people's lives, I have no reason to be. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna hurt myself. Yeah, no. I'll kill myself. Yeah, no. I know. I'll run away. Better show them. They'll be sorry then. Now, can I go upstairs to see Grandpa? Yeah, here, take him, he's teeny weeny. Here. When I'm older and married, why be as big a jerk as BJ? Joey, BJ is not a jerk. No, honey, you see, sometimes married people have fights, but actually, BJ is a very nice man. No, he's not. He's, he's a jerk. That's what BJ stands for. Big jerk. <laughs> Joe, it's not nice for a little boy your age to be calling someone else a jerk, especially when the little boy's name starts with a J. <laughs> I'll be at Grandpa's. Oh, Joey, Joey. You know, you can tell me about your girlfriend. Who is she? I don't have a girlfriend. You see what I mean? I done lost it. He didn't even listen to me. Well, he didn't listen to me either. Oh, Annie, come on, don't feel bad, honey. Nobody listens to you. <laughs> Annie, would you please go make a teeny-weeny casserole, honey? I Dr. Hilliard! Keep Maggie flossing, please. Dr. Hilliard, hi. Can I come in? Please. Now, I feel really bad about what happened at the party. I need to talk to you. You, you want to talk to me? Oh. Um, why don't we go into the hallway? Perhaps I haven't totally lost it. <laughs> Grandpa, I've got a problem. Oh, what's up? I'm in love. Really? With an older woman. Well, Joey, I, I wouldn't know about older women. <laughs> At my age, they're hard to find. She's so beautiful. She always says the right things, and she's more fun than anyone. But I feel so stupid when she comes to babysit for us. Babysit for you? Might this beautiful older woman by any chance be Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> she's a fine woman. But, Grandpa, 
What's the use of liking a girl if she can never be my girlfriend? I have no answers, Joey. Grandpa, you're a grandpa. I always come to you for answers. If you don't know about girls, who does? Well, when I have women problems, I talk to my old friend George Owen. He's 94. <laughs> Who he talks to when he has women problems, I don't know. I thought you could figure anything out. Joey, men can't figure out love. But the good news is women can't figure it out either. <laughs> You're awful. Feel happy, Joey. You fell in love with a wonderful woman. Now it's over. Just hope it happens to you again and again and again. Still the best. Oh, Maggie! Maggie! Oh, I thought you were Addie. She went out to get me some more dental floss. All you have is the unwaxed kind. Maggie, hmm? BJ doesn't have any reason to be jealous of Rudy anymore. Rudy has fallen in love with somebody else. Really? Mm-hmm. Who would have thought there was another woman? Who is she? Fred. <laughs> Fred? What's the man? I thought that would make you happy. Well, you know, I could go up and tell BJ about Rudy, and BJ would calm down for now. But what about next time he's jealous? You know, not once. We were in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. I was eating this chicken dinner. I start to choke on a chicken bone. Waiter comes over to put his arm around me. You know, to do the Heimlich maneuver. BJ busted his jaw. See, that's why I always order boneless chicken. I'm not kidding now. This is serious. He's got to learn to control his jealousy. You got to promise me you'll never tell him about Rudy and, uh... Fred. <laughs> All right, I promise. Well, thanks. If that's BJ, I do not want to talk to him. Okay. I am not even here. You're not even here. All right. Okay. What, BJ? Come in. Can I talk to Maggie now? Well, Maggie's not here, but would you stay? I just want to talk to you, okay? Forget it. I got to finish. Back. Please, BJ, would you just stay for a few minutes? Let me, let's just talk. All right. I love the way you sang Georgie. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, um, I hardly had any rehearsal. BJ, I really would like to talk to you, okay? BJ, about this bed and breakfast in Georgia, why is it so important to you all of a sudden, huh? It's what I've always wanted to do. That's not true. It is. BJ, you can't even talk to me face to face about it. I'm a cab driver. This is how I always talk to people. <laughs> I just can't compete with a dentist. BJ, what's so, just what's so great about being a dentist? Dentists talk to people like this. <laughs> they get respect. You don't get respect because of your job. Oh, yeah? How come everybody calls him doctor? And I'm referred to as A. Mac. Please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't oh, Lord, that. I'm so weak. Please don't make me. Please don't make me. Don't make me tell. Tell me what? Don't make me tell. I can't betray my friend. What friend? I'm your, I'm your friend. You gave me a birthday party. All right, all right, all right. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Oh, oh thank God I'm not in the CIA anymore. Oh. If I tell you, promise you won't tell. I promise. I promise. You won't tell. I promise. Okay, anyway, listen. <laughs> Rudy was here. He came to see me. He told Maggie that he loved her and that he couldn't live without her and that he wanted to take her around the world. He wanted to buy her diamonds, furs, and some shoes. Why don't you keep your secret to yourself? <laughs> well, anyway, Maggie looked him straight in the eye and she said, no thanks. I'm with the man I love and he drives a cab. Who is it? I'll kill him. Do you <laughs> Jerk! Oh. If you don't watch it, your jealousy is going to drive Maggie right into the arms of another dentist. I tell you, being married to Maggie, I'm so far in the doghouse, I don't know whether to roll over or shake hands. 
E.J., we have to talk about Maggie. And now, can you excuse us? This is kind of personal. Joey! <laughs> and now, trust me. <laughs> well, B.J., if you need me, I'll be on the other side of the kitchen door, listening. E.J., <laughs> you acted like a jerk tonight. But I understand, because when I was in love with Maggie, I acted like a jerk, too. You was in love with Maggie? You're coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> yeah. But you know what my grandpa told me? He said that it's tough for us men to figure out love. That's why we act like jerks. You might be on to something. I mean, every time me and Maggie have a fight, I can't run off to Georgia. Hey, Maggie, wait a minute. Look. I'm sorry, okay? Can we just talk about it for a second? What area of the country? You know what I mean. Forget Georgia, we ain't going. Are you sure this time? Yeah, I got some real good advice from the kid. I told him not to. You did? Thanks, Joey. You may not ever lose again with that note, huh? Okay? I was afraid you thought I was a failure. Oh, a failure never. A jerk? Yes. You say the sweetest thing. Mm. <laughs> Aunt Mel, you can come on out now. Joey, took a lot of courage to do what you just did. Well, you mean by telling DJ he's a jerk? No. I mean sending me into the kitchen. <laughs> And uh, if you ever do that again, I'm going to hit you so hard, you're going to throw up. <laughs> 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 